Adam. A human corpse decomposes into elements, just like ordinary dirt. Adam was not a clay sculpture. God used dust. Maybe he transformed dust particles into stem cells, then constituted an embryo, and in a matter of moments quickly advanced it through infancy, adolescence, puberty, and adulthood. Who knows? From mere dirt to sophisticated and complex skeletal, muscular nervous, cardiovascular, digestive, and respiratory systems, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Genesis 2 7. The Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. The creation of man. 1400 years before Christ, Moses declared that God formed man from dust. Muslims believe that 2000 years later, the angel Gabriel told Muhammad to recite that Allah created man out of a mere clot of congealed blood, Quran 96, to Yusufali translation. So is Moses a liar or is Muhammad? Judaism and Christianity say Moses was right. So do I Genesis 2 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. You have a body, but you are a soul. It was nothing more than a dirt sculpture until God breathed into it. Our bodies are nothing but lifeless elements, without the soul that God gave us. The body is a shell that houses a real man. You have a body, but you are a soul. Your earthly body is destined for the grave, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. But your soul will never die. In the resurrection, God will give his saints a new, immortal body. Genesis 2 7. And the Lord God, breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul.